G'day. In front of us here we have the guts of a um, metal detector coil which is actually a um, mine lab 18 inch. Each side of this uh, coil we've got this um, carbon coated paper. It's a, uh, like a graphite material. And uh, another one over here. You can see it's got a few cutouts on it. What they've done, they run very fine wires um, under the uh, tape here to make better connections. That goes to the braid of the feed wire here. This is a, a faulty coil, actually it was intermittent and uh, these are the, um, the wires here from the actual coil and uh, the one to the centre there just fell off just fell off as I uh, touched it. It was just um, a dry joint just sitting there. You can see the construction, how these are done. And you can see how these are twisted. When you make a high Q coil, you do not twist the wires like that. They should be open and run parallel to each other. Something of that nature. Anyway. This coil's got a heap of um, lit wire in it, which uh, I'll use and uh, build up a, uh, a new coil. I'll probably use part of the um, foam structure here as a, a strengthener in the in the uh, coil assembly. But uh, yeah, I'll make up a um, a proper shielded coil, pro properly shielded coil. Use a proper word um, rather than this um, graphite. Uh, sandwich construction that adds a hell of a lot of capacitance um, um, to between the actual coil assembly and the ground I reckon um, using this stuff probably upsets the ground balancing but uh, I'll soon find out I'll um, wind it uh, and get rid of these they're just rubbish um, and uh, I'll um, use uh, some metallic mesh as a um, circular Faraday shield around the windings which are in here I just peeled all apart and yeah, when I finish the project I'll let you all know how it goes. Catches.